Well, it's 6.30 in the morning and the truck's saying that it's already 75 degrees. Now, 75 degrees isn't all that hot, but when it's that hot this early, that's a pretty good indicator that it's gonna be a miserable day. I've got a little bit of everything to do on the ranch today from moving cows to loading hay and butchering some chickens. And I'm really hoping that I can get uh, most of that done before it gets, I think it's supposed to top out at like 110 today. <sighs> Not looking forward to that. So we better get on it. I learned this year that I can't leave my ladder out at the haystack because, and I'm really not sure what was going on. I mean, no no hay uh, went missing that I can tell, but I did notice that my ladder, when I would come back, was in different places on the stack, and things just weren't as I left them. And I think what happened is um, these houses right here, I think there's some kids that were going back there and playing or doing God knows what whatever kids do and uh, I just I didn't I didn't like that so I decided fortunately my parents uh, live pretty close to the hay field so I can just leave my ladder here at my dad's shop and that's what I've been doing before I grab the ladder though I kind of want to take a look at my dad's trees here <laughs> just kind of try to get an idea of what the walnut crop looks like this year Not bad. All right, well, it looks like they beat me here by a couple minutes and they're already starting to get loaded. So I guess if I was smart, I would have got here about 20 minutes later and maybe they'd be done loading. Well, that is gonna do it for my little load of hay this morning. Uh, my next guy's coming at like 9.30, I think. And it's about 7.30 right now. So I think I'll have just enough time to run back over to the ranch and get the cows moved before he gets here. Gotta stop here at the house and get the side-by-side because -side, uh, I still need to change my hot wire over at the ranch and all my tools and stuff to do that are in there so we're gonna grab that real quick and head on down These guys are reminding me that I didn't feed them yet this morning, so I guess I better do that before I go. The new pigs are still a little skittish, uh, as you can kind of see. Anytime I get near the pen, they do that. So I think in a couple weeks, they'll probably get over it. Um, but right now, they're probably still having nightmares about last week. All right, back to work. Right now I've got this hot wire going all the way back to the west end of the property and what I need to do is string it back up this way so that it will 
basically land at the gate where they're going to come into this field. Well, I've just about got this hot wire up and wouldn't you know it, my hay guy called, he's running a little bit early. I can't be too mad about that though because it's only getting hotter as time goes by. But the, uh, the sad fact for these poor cows is they're gonna have to wait another hour or two while I go load him and then I can come back, finish up with this hot wire and get them moved. Well, here we go. I'm glad that's done. Now, um, get, head back to the ranch, get those cows moved, and then I'm thinking I better go hose those pig pens down. <laughs> Just when I thought I was done with hay, uh, the lady from this morning, I guess their plans changed, and now they have time to come get their remaining 20. So that's gonna be their last load for the year. I don't really wanna do it because I'm hot and I'm tired, but it's only 20 bales, and if I do it now, then I won't have to load any hay next weekend. And that sounds really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and get her loaded. And yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, well that is it. No more hay customers for the year. I'm gonna have to come back here with my trailer and get these bottom bales because uh, horse customers tend not to want them uh, just because where the bales touching the ground sometimes can get a little bit discolored. Uh, not really moldy, but it just doesn't look too appetizing. So they, they usually don't want to take those and I don't, I don't make them do it. So, but yeah, other than that, hay is just about wrapped up for the year. We are now back out in the pasture here to finish what we started a few hours ago. The wire is all up, uh, it's charged now. I did turn it on. So the last thing that I need to do is just put a few fiberglass posts in here uh, to sort of help keep the wire up off the ground. And then we can open the gate and let the cows come back here. All right, let's go get those cows.
All the cows are moved and I think they're in a much better mood now. So it's time to head back to the house and start butchering chickens. We're back at the house now and it's time to butcher some chickens. If this is something that you're really interested in and you want a detailed play-by-play -play of this process, I already have made a video like that. If I remember when I'm editing this one, I'll put a link in the description. But because I've already made that video, I'm not going to go into great detail again about how to do this. In fact, this is going to be a very abbreviated version. I think that I can show you all the steps to butchering a chicken in less than a minute. So let, let's try. Well, I think I got about all the chickens that I'm gonna get butchered today. So right now they're soaking in the ice bath and tomorrow morning I will package them and put them in the freezer. Now I just gotta run down to the ranch, start some water, and I can call it a day. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.